There's a way to bounce back from rejection and recover what you have lost. And the quicker you know how to do it, the better for you. You're going to avoid a lot of chaos in your life when you overcome this rejection. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So let's dive right in. Hi, welcome back to self Wired Happiness. My name is Kanini here at self Wired Happiness. We unlock the secrets to a long, happy and successful life. The first thing that you need to acknowledge is that the rejection that just happened in your life is hurting you. That you feel, you don't feel okay about the rejection. Sometimes we tend to want to fight that feeling that I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm not rejected. I'm fine. I'm fine. You're not fine. Okay. <laughs> if you've been rejected, there is nothing fine about that rejection. I, I'm fine. They'll see. I'm fine. I'll bounce back. I'm fine. Don't do that. It hurts. And I want you to acknowledge that it hurts so that you're able to get on top of it. Because if you fight this emotion, this emotion, it's going to be tough all. It's going to be tough all. Acknowledge. Acknowledge that you, you're not in your calm, calm mind. There is a time when in life, you are calm, right? You're calm, everything is fine, you're calm. But when you're rejected, you're not calm. Your, your, your emotions are up and down. You're angry, you're frustrated, you're remembering things, and you're like, I cannot believe this happened. You wanna call your friend, da 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 oh, That's fine, just acknowledge, okay? Just acknowledge, go into that space, and acknowledge that, okay, fine, yeah, I was rejected and I am hurt. The second thing you're going to do is you're going to see things clearly, okay? You're going to see things very, very clearly. One person rejected you, the whole of the planet did not reject you, okay? I did not reject you, just one person rejected you. Not everybody rejected you. You are amazing. That's the opinion of one person and that is not going to ruin your day. You're going to be more stronger than this, okay? The opinion of one person does not define how well you're going to do in life or how badly you're going to do in life. It's what you decide and that opinion of one person should never, ever, ever decide the rest of your life. Oh, he rejected me. Nobody will ever love me again. <gasps> no, people will love you. It's just in your mind. People will love you. Oh my God, he's divorcing me and I don't know what to do. Nobody will ever love me because who marries woman at my age? Don't catastrophize, okay? Don't be like, this is it. Other people don't like me. I have been rejected. I have no hope. No, 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 no. Go back, go back to earth. See things clearly, please. See things clearly. We did not reject you. Not everybody rejected you. You're just overreacting and catastrophizing and seeing the worst possible outcome, which is very, very irrational. If you continue doing this, it's going to ruin your life. So just don't fall into that trap. That's a very dangerous trap. The only thing that you have to fear about rejection is you taking it so badly that it ruins your life. But it doesn't have to be that way. You can weigh your options and decide what you're going to do that is best for you, okay? The next thing you're going to do is to use positive affirmations. Now that your low self-esteem is kind of being affected by this rejection, it's good to fight back those negative thoughts because once somebody has rejected you or a negative event has come into your life, your mind 
has been activated. Your survival mind has been activated and it's possible that you're going to start thinking negatively about the situation. We do not want negativity because negativity will bring more negativity in our life. So you want to stop that negativity from coming into your life by using positive affirmations. This is a good positive affirmations. Out of this situation, only good can come. Out of this situation, only good can come. Because when something happens, failure or rejection, there's always two things that happen. One, there's the lesson that you need to learn. And then there'll be the outcome of that situation. Only good can come. If you take the lesson, only good can come out of that situation. Out of this situation, only good, only good things can come out of it. Use positive affirmations to safeguard your mind from going into negativity. The only thing that you have to fear is your mind taking this rejection in the wrong way and then becoming negative and then ruining your life. So out of this situation, only good can come. I'm going to give you more tips on how to overcome rejection. You're going to take an imaginary box, put an imaginary box and all the negative feelings that you're feeling about the rejection, that I am not good enough, put that in that imaginary box. Every hard feeling of betrayal, put that in that imaginary box. This imaginary box can handle anything that you cannot. And so you're going to give it to this box and this box can handle it for you. So we have put all these negative feelings that we are feeling about this situation in that imaginary box. And we're going to leave it there. In that imaginary box is going to to take care of it. So negative feelings are out. Now, the second thing you're going to do is that you're going to breathe in positivity from the universe and you're going to breathe out positivity from the universe. You're going to take in positivity and give out positivity. You're going to take out positivity from the universe and bring positivity into the universe. So you have been rejected. One of the best feelings that you can, that you can go for is the feeling of oneness and wholeness and complete and love from the universe. You breathe in love from the universe and you give out love into the universe. You bring in peace from the universe and you bring out peace into the universe. You bring forgiveness from the universe and you breathe out forgiveness from the universe. So we are breathing in goodness and we are breathing out goodness because our negativity has already been taken care of and now all that you see is goodness coming into your life and you in turn giving out positivity back into the universe. Only good comes in and only good comes out. This will help you start feeling good. Remember, emotional intelligence is the number one indicator why some people are successful and why some people are not. So we want you feeling good and calm. Remember how you are feeling like this because of the rejection? We want you to feel calm, calm, calm because it hasn't ended. Your story is not ended. That was a full stop of your life. It was kind of like huh, a coma. Let's move on. Okay? It hasn't ended. Acknowledge now the lessons that you have learned. Now that you're in this positive feeling, acknowledge the positive lessons that you have learned. One of the reasons, one of the biggest lessons I learned from a time where I felt very rejected, I got rejected by my boyfriend, and then I got rejected at work, and I was start 
they start wondering, why is this happening to me? Why does this keep happening? And this is what happens if you if something like rejection happens, there is always a lesson. And if you do not learn that lesson, it's going to keep repeating itself. It's the cycle of karma. If you don't learn, it keeps repeating itself. But it's really not karma. It's just that you haven't taught your mind the lesson so that it doesn't repeat the same mistakes. If you don't teach your mind about the lesson, it will not learn and it will keep repeating the same mistake. It's, it's for example, if you touched a hot stove and your mind did not register that the hot stove was hot, you would burn off your finger and, and you know, because you are not feeling any pain, right? You will continue burning your whole body because you don't realize that the stove, the stove is hot. But good thing is there is pain for you to realize that you touched a hot stove. And rejection is just trying to tell you that you touched a hot stove and you need to stop doing that. So what did you learn from, from, from the rejection? For me, this is what I learned from when I got rejected is that I was overreacting to things. And I needed to go down and calm myself in meditation so that I am not overreactive because my overreacting was pushing people away. Even if I know deep down I'm a good person, the message I was getting from people rejecting me is that mm -mm, you need to go back and work on yourself because you're overreacting to situations. And I went back and realized I was very anxious and I was fearful of some situations and I started dealing with that fear so that I can stay calm. And now I am able to remain calm and deal with even rejection more effectively. So there is always a lesson that's keeping you from getting rejected and rejected. And usually mostly is how you're dealing with your emotions. Maybe you're overreacting. And that is why in this channel, I, I try my best to show you that there is a way you can understand your whole body and your nervous system and take charge of it so that your emotions are not going like this, right? So that you stay even keeled. When things happen, you're not always like this. You can always stay like this, flat. Imagine a line that's calm and straight and just calm. You, that's how you want your emotions to be, calm, right? You don't want this. You, know, you don't want volatility in your emotions because volatility will, will just make you crazy. If your emotions one time you're angry, sad, happy, blah, blah, like that, that's going to mess you up. You want to stay calm. And one of the reasons that people reject you, it's not because you're not beautiful, it's not because you're not strong, it's not because you're not tall enough, it's not because, it's just because you don't have a happy demeanor and that can cause people to reject you. You want to deal with those emotions first because they will affect you. Huh. Once you learn the lesson, once you have looked into yourself, like you have looked at the situation and you have approached it with a level of maturity, be proud of yourself. Be proud of yourself because growth is tough, right? As growing emotionally is very, very tough for people. Growth can be very challenging. Now that you have seen that lesson, be proud of yourself because now that you have taught your mind the lesson, you're very unlikely to repeat that mistake. And the less mistakes that you repeat in life, the better for you. The more mistakes you make and learn from them, the better for you. But now that you have learned that, be proud of yourself. And then be grateful for the opportunity to learn that you never go back and lose 
what you have received. Remember, gratitude is the ultimate state of receivership. We want to be grateful for the lessons that we have learned. Because once we are grateful, we cannot lose those lessons. If I give you something and you don't like it, you're not going to take good care of it. But if you are grateful for it, you're going to take care of it. So put on gratitude for the opportunity to learn from your mistakes and for that lesson, for everybody who looked at you and rejected you and pointed you towards yourself so that you can go there back to yourself and grow and come out a better and stronger person. There is always that opportunity to learn and grow from the situation. Now that you have taken the rejection, taken the lesson, grown from me, become more successful because you have been able to see this clearly and take it in the right way. You observed yourself and you took the lesson and you learned from it and you're grateful and you're proud of yourself. This is the best thing that can come. And I'm telling you, this is the best outcome that can come. You growing personally and getting growth from it, this is the best outcome that can happen for you spiritually, financially, socially, that level of growth is going to bless your life in ways that you'll never ever imagine. So have the courage and the, the, the openness and gratitude to help you move past that rejection. If you like this video, subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it with other people. Here at Self Wired Happiness, we really want to help people who have problems with emotions grow. I had a lot of problems growing up because I didn't have individualized care from a mother or a parent and I did not know for a long time how to deal with my emotions and they have taken me through hell and back. And I want you to know that you don't have to live your life like that. You can actually learn how to become more vulnerable and even strong. You don't have to keep fighting the world or you know, you don't, you don't have to keep fighting or running away from things or even being scared because there is a way to grow. And in this channel, we unlock those secrets for a long, happy and successful life. So thanks again for tuning into Self Wired Happiness. Please subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment that you subscribe so that I'm able to reach out and welcome you to the channel. And also you can ring that notification bell and I will let, it will let me know that you have subscribed. So 